Hi kids. Now, let me ask you a question. How many famous people do you know and what are they famous for? Hmm, let's have a look at this photo. Now, who was he? He was Ash from Pokemon. And what is he famous for? He's famous for catching all the Pokemons. Well done. Let's have a look at the next photo. Who is she? She's Emma Wiggle. I'm sure a lot of you like Emma Wiggle. And what is she famous for? She's famous for singing and dancing, isn't she? Okay, one last one. Let's have a look at who this next person is. And who is she? She's Ash Barty and she's famous for playing tennis. Now, in the Bible, there are many people who are famous as well. In particular, there are many people who are famous for trusting in God. For example, there's Rahab who trusted in God and hid the spies. There's Noah who trusted in God and built an ark. There's Daniel who trusted in God and prayed when he was in the lion's den. Now, today's story is on Deborah, who also trusted in God. Let's have a listen to her story. Last week, we heard how Ehud saved God's people. And while Ehud lived, Israel had peace. But when Ehud died, Israel again turned to follow pretend gods. Again, God punished them by sending enemies to capture them. This time, he sent Jabin, king of Canaan. Jabin's commander of his army was named Sezra. Sezra was an evil man. Sezra was very, very cruel to the Israelites. So again, the Israelites cried out to God to save them. God was kind to the Israelites and sent a message. God gave the message to a woman named Deborah. Deborah was the leader of Israel at this time. Deborah called for a man named Barak. Barak came and Deborah told Barak God's message. Go take 10,000 men and fight Sezra. God will give you victory. But Barak did not trust the message from God. I will go, but only if you go with me. Deborah shook her head and said, God will do what he said. You will win. But because you did not trust God, a woman will be given the honour of the victory, not you. So Barak gathered together 10,000 men. Then Deborah and Barak set off to fight Sezra. God did what he said he would do. Barak and his army won. Barak's army chased Sezra. But it was not Barak who captured and killed Sezra. It was a woman named Jael. A woman won the victory, just as Deborah said. But Deborah trusted in God and obeyed God. Barak didn't trust God and he was afraid and didn't obey God. Kids, are you someone who trusts in God? Sometimes it's quite hard, isn't it? I find it hard sometimes as well. But remember Jesus. Jesus always trusted in God, even if it meant going to the cross and dying for us. God wants you to be famous for trusting in him. And Jesus can help us trust and obey God. Let us ask for his help today.